Facts of Mars. And for those of you who live in the Northeast and you think the Northeast is geologically stable and we don't have anything to worry about in terms of volcanoes, earthquakes, such, <clears throat> that's changing. A mysterious blob of hot rock, otherwise known as magma, is building up under America's Northeast. Now, I could use a National Geographic site, but it, it was arguing, and I had to fight it, fight it, fight, 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 over and over again with it. So, uh, this site's a little more stable. Actually, it's much more stable. Vast mass, mass of hot rock is welling up underneath Vermont and extending into other subterranean regions below the New England new research shows. Scientists used a network of thousands of seismic measurement devices and largest geologic study of its kind, detecting the enormous blob upwelling under Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and possibly elsewhere. Now that's just lovely. The upwelling we detected is like a hot air balloon and we infer that something is rising up to the deeper part of our planet under New England, says geophysicist Vadim Levin from Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Since New England does not have any active volcanoes, the huge buildup is thought to be a geologically recent phenomenon. Although in this case, uh, that means uh, it could have slowly but steadily been growing for tens of millions of years. Now I'm going to give you a little aside. I've noticed uh, how much igneous rock we have in this region. Igneous means it was formed by magma coming to the surface. Uh, so this is ignored by mainstream science, by the way. As for whether the mass could one day erupt, that's the way these things go. Team says I'll Though there's no point in panicking, since such an eventuality is still a long way off, long, long way off from happening. So you say, it will likely take millions of years for the upwelling to get where it's going, Levin explains. Next step is trying to understand exactly how it's happening. Team analyzed blob using Earthscope, um, multi-dimensional, multi-institutional network of instruments monitoring seismic movements rippling through the Northeast American continent. Buried in two years data, the team zeroed in on New England, having previously identified a thermal anomaly that was hundreds of degrees Celsius hotter than its surroundings in Upper Mantle, about 200 kilometers 124.2 miles below the surface and measuring approximately 400 kilometers, 240.5 miles in diameter. It's a very large and relatively stable region, says so Levin, but we found an irregular pattern with rather abrupt changes. Uh, using new rings of seismic rain waves traveling through Earth's underground, team suggests that the blob is welling directly under central Vermont, but extends into western New Hampshire and also western Massachusetts. That's just lovely. Researchers acknowledge the mass may travel beyond these states, although they're unable to tell from data they use in the study. They said, as enormous as this blob is, compared to other volcanic masses churning up under the continental U.S., it's no giant. It's not Yellowstone National Park-like, but a distant relative in the sense. That's something relatively small. No more than a couple hundred miles across what's happening. Oh, a couple hundred miles, yeah, that's small, all right. 
Come on. This goes on and on. Uh, okay. Well, if... If you, uh, see... Smoke coming up from the ground, and start feeling earthquakes, <laughs> you better run. Better get, uh, get out of there. It goes for me, too, because I live in... I live south of Rochester, north of Hell, in the frozen plains of sunny western New York State. Oh, boy. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. That's one more thing. I want to thank some Mars. Thanks for watching.